what were your thoughts, uh, Hari, on when uh, the virus hit us? Uh, do you, did you think that you needed to pivot? Did you think that you needed to overreact, under underreact, or do you, did you think that you needed to exercise restraint? When the virus, you know, first hit, you know, we uh, we were first the first thing that we were thinking about was safety, right? Uh, you know, in the sense that you know we need to make sure that uh, you know all of us first first. First, get very safe, right? Uh, um, us meaning us and and, and my entire, you know, uh, set of employees, uh, you know, twenty five thousand of them, and so what? What do we first do to make sure that happens, right? At that point in time, we had no clue, uh, frankly, on what the impact on business would be, right? All we knew is that people would need food, right, for sure, uh, and 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 there is some way that you would have to, you know, you know, kind of be in there, but we had no clue in what form. So the first thing that hit us was safety. So we quickly reorganized ourselves, you know, work from home was the first thing that, you know, that came to our minds wherever possible. And we actually got to do that very, very early, right? Uh, so sometime mid-March, we, we completely co- took that call and moved and moved uh, uh, a lot of our stuff to, to work from home. But however, you know, our, 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 uh, our, our operations can't do that. I mean, you can't sit at home and, and deliver. So we had to, uh, you know, just do all of that. And interestingly, you know, twenty um, first. Uh, I still remember this. Uh, you know, uh, it was it was crazy. So twenty first March uh, uh, was the D Day. Uh, in the evening, we suddenly started getting a whole host of notifications from the government. Uh, you know, saying that uh, you know uh, tomorrow is the. And of course, the Prime Minister spoke a little later that that uh, that there would be a you know um, you know a semi lockdown uh, kind of condition tomorrow, um, and uh, you would have to deliver. Right, uh, you know, you're you're categorized under what's called essential services, and hence uh, you'll have to go out there and, and 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 actually deliver. So we were actually actually pretty thrilled, and you know, we were we were just hoping that something like that happens. We had no clue, uh, but then you know, uh, I will I will not go into the in, into the whole bit that you know actually what happened. If you know, people were so charged, we actually rallied people on that on that Saturday evening. Actually, frankly, I myself got on to speaking to each of my regional heads, got them to speak to everybody, saying, coming tomorrow to work, right? In spite of all this worries that, that, that we have is, is national pride, right? And, and it, it's, it's almost like, like a duty that I think you must all take on on yourselves because, you know, while the country is going to kind of shut down that day, you are going to be out there, uh, you know, delivering groceries to people. People are panicking. People are worried. You know, people are wondering what's going to happen. You know, unbelievable. People just rallied, actually. You know, uh, and and on at six in the morning on that Sunday, twenty second, we had one of our best attendants. Right? Uh, uh, you know, everybody just came to the warehouse. Uh, you know, and said, "This is this is a great moment." And it was so nice to see that. What happened for four hours after that was sad. Actually, you know, and that is where uh, you know, frankly, uh, at one point, uh, two days later, I. Frankly, all of us in our management team didn't know what could happen to us, right? And we absolutely had no clue on whether we would ever recover from, from what we saw over those three days. Actually, what happened was people went out, there was that communication didn't go to the ground. You know, a lot of our people, there were atrocities, they got beaten up, you know, uh, in, in addition to the fear that was there. And in about two hours on that Sunday, we were, we were, uh, we were pretty, pretty much shut, right? Because everybody had to be called back. Because people on the ground wouldn't let us uh, deliver, in spite of very, very clear instructions from the from the government. And that evening, actually, people clapped for us. You know, uh, people actually, uh, you know, clapped for health workers, clapped for delivery boys and stuff like that. And I was just looking back and saying, hey, you know, uh, this is what happened during the day. And 23rd, 24th, uh, 80% of our people went away. 80% of, of the workforce went away. Because that time the borders were open because the lockdown was announced on 25th. So that window of 23rd, 24th, they went away. And that was a moment which was scary, right? Frankly, absolutely scary. We were down to 20% of our workforce, down to, uh, you know, just about somehow delivering 25,000 orders from a peak of 150,000 orders. Uh, frankly, you know, I had no clue on what's going to happen next. Absolutely no clue. Uh, well, what happened was a very different story. You know, I think the way the government kind of reacted, absolutely outstanding, outstanding, I must say, because you know they got us up and running in two days flat, two days flat, 
all that you were doing and sitting in meetings with, with very, very senior people, including the ministers sitting there and taking decisions across the board, across the board. And they would take a decision and it would get implemented in a few hours. And that was just outstanding. And we scaled after that, so there was no looking back. Extremely scary, uncertain, 15th March to 31st March, frankly, I didn't know what's going to happen to our business.